Hi Sam! Welcome to yet another RC channel and the first edition of Transmitter Tuesday. Today I will show you how to modify your Radio Master Zorro so that you get self-centering sliders. But first of all, small but important disclaimer. We're going deep into the heart and soul of the Zorro and if you decide to do this, if you ruin anything, it's definitely not on me. I'll leave the files on Thingiverse, so you can download and print them if you want to try it out. As usual, I'll meet you over at the bench. The first working prototype. It did take a few redesigns to get it right. But finally I made it work and it also fits. There is uh, one more thing. Uh, if you do this you will you will have to recalibrate your transmitter and you will uh, lose some resolution on the sliders. So I'll just put this one in and then I'll assemble the other one. At the moment the channel's got 295 awesome subscribers and you can be just as awesome by hitting that subscribe button just below the video. It's free for you but it means a whole lot to me. It's not too many parts. You have to print the bottom part. It's different from left to right, so you have to mirror it when printing for the right side. Do some holes for uh, the M2 screws. And then this one fits over the potentiometer. And you have to... Uh, dip on the, depending on the accuracy of your printer, you have to open up some holes. You also need to drill out the holes for the spring. I'm using a one millimeter drill bit. And you'll need some light spring. The TX16S came with some extra springs, probably a different rate for than original. So I cut it in half. There. Then you just slide it elegantly in. This is way easier without the gimbal. Let's see if I can show you how tight this squeeze really is. Use your exacto or something and make sure all the clearances are okay because it's tight. I'll get this one out and, uh, and fix it up later. Now I'll uh, put everything back together. Yeah, the left one moves uh, much more freely. So I'll uh, take this one out again and uh, play with it a bit more. It's a bit fiddly, but consider the size of this thing. I'm surprised how easy it is to work with. No pinched wires and we can screw it all back together. 
that there's no binding that the spring is messed up so I have to fix that later and the battery connectors Hopefully I got eight screws left, and I do. So it's all back together. Let's put in some in the batteries, and see if I have messed anything up. Moment of truth. Welcome to HTX. As you can see, the sliders don't go to three months anymore so you have to calibrate them and you will lose a little bit uh, resolution Everything's in midpoint. And then move the sticks to the extremes. Don't force them to the end. Just get them over there. So that's it. Self-centering sliders. Yeah, they don't look too good, but let's call it proof of concept. Files are available at Thingiverse. There's a link down uh, below. So take a look at this video to see my thoughts on why the Zorro is probably the best all-rounder out there. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.